equality and inclusion lie at the heart of Pride. And while everyone is invited to the party, this year some were more welcome than others. While a small number of the Metropolitan Police were on hand to provide security, serving officers were asked not to march in uniform as activists hit out about homophobia in the force, including failings in how it handled the investigation into the serial killer Stephen Port. <laughs> Four or five hundred people with just as many police looking very pofos on either side, um, very disgruntled that they were having to march with these people who were deviants. There's a huge rise in transphobia in the UK and you know, a huge increase in hate crime against the LGBT community. And as we've seen from politicians and other famous celebrities alike, they're trying to divide the LGBT community. Yeah. So I think that pride is back and it's a show of force and it can show that you know, we are united, we stand together and we're not going to take it. We're going to stand up and if you try to fight us, we'll fight back.
snapshot of a movement and a conversation that has completely evolved over the last 50 years, but casting a shadow over this explosion of colour that in 2022 the LGBT plus community is still facing discrimination.